Are you looking for a clean, distraction-free desktop that's highly functional and boosts your productivity without compromising performance? Then this video is for you. I'll guide you through transforming your setup with unique minimalist desktop widgets, upgrading essential menus like your start menu and taskbar for a more aesthetic look, and enhancing core Windows features like folder size displays using an incredible customization tool called Windhawk. And to top it all off, we'll install a sleek functional top bar that lets you check the weather or access apps in just a few clicks. Let's dive in. Before we begin installing our first tools, let's take a moment to tidy up the desktop using a few simple settings. We'll start by right-clicking on the desktop background, navigating to View and unselecting Show Desktop Icons. This ensures that nothing interrupts the view of your wallpaper. Plus, it's often more efficient to search for apps directly through the Start menu anyway. Next, let's center the taskbar to create a cleaner and more professional look. For that, right-click it and the click on Taskbar Settings. In the settings, click over taskbar behavior and the enable center here. Now, let's kick off the real customization by choosing an awesome new wallpaper. For this setup, we've selected a moody night scene featuring the back of a car. It's sleek, minimal, and adds a clean aesthetic to the desktop. You can download it from Freepik with the link in the description. To select this new wallpaper, we need to again left click the desktop, but now we need to click on personalize. Click on background. This takes us to a menu where we need to click on Browse Photos. Here, select the wallpaper we just downloaded. This is already much cleaner. Now let's get to the heart of this video and start installing some amazing customization tools that unlock unique and powerful features for your setup. The first tool we will get today is the Windhawk application, which is a really versatile and power efficient tool. Simply download it using the link in the description and run the setup file. The installation is pretty simple. Just follow the steps and install the application in a folder where you will save all of the tools we will install for this customization. After the installation, the app will open automatically, presenting you with a menu where you can explore and select from a variety of mods to completely transform and enhance your software experience. The first mod will be this taskbar styler. With this mod, we can completely change the look and feel of our taskbar. You can choose from a lot of styles here. From Windows XP to a modern transparent look, this offers everything. Now let's click on install here. As you can see, these installations are verified in GitHub, which is great. So just click on install again. To select the style for our new taskbar, go to the settings and select rose pin from this menu. Don't forget to click on save settings. This taskbar styler transforms your taskbar by giving each icon its own distinct island while grouping the menus on the right into a single island. This design creates a sleek dock-like experience while maintaining a simple and clean aesthetic, perfect for this setup. Now let's further customize the other Windows interfaces. First, let's upgrade the notification center. Once again, click on install and feel free to ignore the warning message. These tools are widely used by many people and have been thoroughly vetted on GitHub. To activate the mod, go in the settings and select translucent shell here and save the settings. Now, as you can see, your notifications menu has a really cool frosted windows look, which is way better than the default windows one. Let's also install that for the start menu as there is a plugin for that as well. Again, there are a lot of themes to choose from, which is really cool. The installation process is the same as before. Click on install and then again on install. As before selecting the setting, which style you want for your menu. Now in this case, you can either choose the rose pin style, which fits amazing to the taskbar, or you can go for this clean translucent style. I have chosen this style for my setup because of this cool effect when you hover off of the icons. For our second last Windhawk mod, we'll install this handy tweak for the volume control. If you don't see it right away, you can use the search function to locate it quickly. The installation is the same like before. Click on install and ignore the message. This time there is nothing to set up, so let's check out the mod right away. As you can see, this mod enhances the volume control by allowing you to adjust the volume using your scroll wheel when hovering over the taskbar. This small tweak can save you time compared to using the function keys for volume adjustments. As for our last Windhawk tweak, we will install another productivity increasing tool, which helps you to better see the file sizes of folders. Now this tool is special because it needs a special application called everything to run smoothly. But first, let's install the base mod like before. Now, if you chose calculated manually here, you don't need the everything RP. But as you can see, the files now take a lot of time to load. That's why I advise you to install this application with the link in the description. 
After the download, run the file and follow the very simple installation process. Again, save this app in your folder for customization tools so you have everything organized. With the app open, you now need to click on tools, then on options and here on indexes. In this menu, check if index file size and index folder size is toggled on. Now simply head over to the Windhawk settings, enable the everything extension and save your changes. As you can see, the files now load in normal speed. In my experience, this tool has significantly boosted my productivity by making it easy to see whether folders are empty and quickly identify how big of files there are in there. Now for the second part of this video, we want to also enhance your desktop with widgets and more. To do this, we will install an application called RainMeter, which also runs in the background and helps us to install more tweaks. For the installation, you don't have to do anything. Just run the file and that's it. With that out of the way, we can install some mods for RainMeter, like the Jaxcore plugin. This plugin offers a lot of great widgets. You can install it with the link in the description. After the download, run the file. Now follow the setup process. Just click on continue on these menus as there is nothing to set up here. In this menu, unselect your flyouts and your mixer and instead select modular clocks, modular players and modular visualizer and the click on install. After this process, the app should open automatically. Let's start by installing our first widget, a sleek and minimalistic desktop clock the installation is simple, just go to library and there on modular clock. Under general, you can choose the theme of the clock. For this setup, I have chose this clock, which also shows the date. There are some more settings available here, but for this setup, we don't need to change anything else. Now place the clock in the middle of the screen. For our next plugin, we will set up the modular player. To do that, go in the library and click here. Under general, you can find a wide selection of different music widgets. For our setup, we want to get this style called Windows 11. Under media, don't change anything. And in the style options, you just need to increase the size to 1.4 here. Here, change the color to this value by left clicking this icon and then click standard in this menu. Also, don't forget that you always need to activate the mods by toggling this switch. As the widget is set up, now place it in the bottom corner of your screen. To make this music widget even better, we will install a visualizer for the music. Again, open the mod settings through the library. In the general tab, make sure you set the numbers of bars to 25, the height to 300 pixels, and the width to 20 pixels. In the audio tab, you don't need to change anything. Then go to the layouts tab and select the theme in the top right corner. For this last step, go to appearance and make sure that you select two for the colors in the gradient. Now for the second color, I chose this nice red matching to the backlights of the car on the wallpaper. To change colors, you have to again left click the color and type in the RGB code. Before we are finished with this tool, go to render and enable flip vertically. Also, don't forget to active the widget. Arrange this widget below the media player so they both fit nice together. Visually, this is one of my favorite elements of this setup. But now let's get to another amazing rain meter tool which can also improve your productivity. Let me present to you the Drop Top 4 mod. With this tool, you can get a super functional top bar for your desktop. After the download, run the file and install the tool. After that, it is time to set up Drop Top 4. First, click here to start the process. Now select your language. Here, select desktop only. In this next menu, select your device here and next to it, type in your weather location and what metric you would like to ask. In this last menu, select transparent for now, but we will change that later to a custom skin. To get this custom skin, which fits great to our taskbar, we have to again go on the drop top website and there on community themes. In this tab, search for cappuccino latte and download it. Now to install it, just run the file and click on install. After that, your program should restart and you have to click on activate to apply the skin. As you can see, the top bar is still a bit cluttered, so let's start by tidying it up. Now first click on this icon, then on home icon and here select monochrome icon and then select the Windows logo from the product logos. On the right side, we have a lot of app shortcuts, so let's remove some of them. To do that, right click the top bar and then go to the icons you don't want in this menu and untoggle them. This way it look way cleaner and we only have the apps we want. Let's also remove some icons from the left side. For this go in the menu, there on my folders, then on the icons we don't need and there untoggle them at the bottom of the menu. Another important step is to go in this menu again, but this time on options and then on adjust size. 
Here select standard 3 as this fits better to the rest of the setup. I personally really like this mod as it not only looks clean and aesthetic but also adds some more functions to the desktop. For example, you can quickly access apps like YouTube or informations like the weather forecast and even detailed battery information. With all of the available extensions, you can further apps you like to this top bar, for example, a color app and much more. Further, with this top bar, you can even sort your games after genres so you can simplify your game access. Now let's take a moment to appreciate your finished setup. You should now have a sleek and clean setup that maintains functionality through the top bar and music widgets all while staying minimalistic and simple. Moreover, your Windows menus also look cleaner now with a unique transparent look. And besides that, you also improved Windows by enabling the folder size features. Speaking of performance, these modifications are rather simple. For example, Windhawk draws almost no power. If you are worried about performance, just leave the drop top skin or rain meter in general out of the tutorial as they tend to be a bit more power consuming. Still, I would recommend you to try out the customization. If you are interested in more setups like these, you can check out our website where we highlight all of our installations, or you can check out our channel. If you have technical questions, you can go to our forum or leave a comment here.